Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jun Han. Now today you join me at the back end of Gold Car Imports because the showroom in front is totally filled. So that's where I usually film the cars like the Lamborghini Urus, the Aventador. But now it's fully filled with, it's fully stocked up with a lot of cars. But yeah, so if you're interested to purchase any recon cars, you can come here because there are a lot of choices to choose from. And yep, so today I'm here to review a car that is, I think, very worth it for the price you're paying for and it's a very very unique crossover is unlike any other crossover and yep that is the mini cooper countryman john cooper works and here is it guys the 2018 slash 19 mini countryman john cooper's edition now back in 2008 during the Paris Motor Show, Mini actually showed a concept which is called the Mini Crossover Concept which actually had the doors right, the rear doors slide backwards and then you have four individual seats inside. So that is to show the world that okay they're going to build a crossover. Then eventually two years later it spawned into this. So basically 2010 they released the first generation of the Mini Countryman. Then after that in seven years later 2017 they announced the second generation which is this right here so yeah a lot of people actually don't like the concept of having a crossover because a mini is supposed to be small it's a mini right so they a lot of people don't like because it really defeats the purpose or the ethos of the brand itself because it's supposed to be small and nice and cute but then mini took the step to go to this crossover section because they know that a lot of people is in demand of this kind of cars but then they did it very well slowly slowly people started finding it nice then it becomes more in demand yep because it offers a lot of things this one right even though you see like it looks very small right it like doesn't look like a crossover like huge and big right like hrv and all those right this is actually more spacious than you think which i'll show you later inside and another benefit of this right because this car is so low it actually handles very well and it's very very punchy as well so yep that's the best combination okay now let's talk about the design of the car itself so firstly up front you can see it's unmistakably recognizable as a mini because you look at it you really know it's a mini now to differentiate whether this is the normal countryman or whether this is the cooper if it's the cooper the daytime running light will be circular if it's the countryman it'll be this shape right here so yeah it's very cool and then you can see inside so there's actually the projector headlights right there yep and then also like i like this chrome surround which makes this car a little bit more elegant yep and then you see the hood here actually you can see this bulge right that sticks out it's very subtle now under this lighting but then this car is actually powered by a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine that produces 231 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque now this car can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just under seven seconds that is something definitely any other crossovers you, will be, you won't be able to achieve that performance the numbers or that speed so that's what makes this car so unique okay so then the grill right here so you can see this is what mini calls it the chili red so only specific for the jcw edition you got this chili red surrounds on the grill itself yep and you can see the john cooper works destination right there very cool because this one actually to break up apart everything that's white give it some a bit of sportiness in red yeah very cool and then the bottom you got the front splitter so there's the radiator to feed air inside to the engine and then this one right because this one is the jcw it's not the cooper s the cooper s has the fog lights this one does not have it but it has this which is very cool so you can see there's actually a hole there right so this is actually an air curtain which actually channels air around to the side of the car to give it more aerodynamic efficiency yep and then here as well there's a hole so this hole is actually for air to go inside and cool the brakes itself so there's a channel and duct to go towards the brakes yeah that's it for the front it's very very cool now another thing right you'll be see from the side now one thing i like about the design of this mini is what they've done here because you can see right the top portion they actually make it black so that's actually so that it hides away the top part so it doesn't make it look that bulky that huge that tall so yeah so this one give it more sportiness to it and make it lower than it is so yeah it's very cool imagine this whole thing is body color it look too huge so yeah that's very nice even the side mirrors is also in black and now let's go towards the side so this brakes and the wheels so this is a 19 inch wheels so this is specific for the jcw john cooper works edition as well so you got this multi-spoke wheel as well and then you can see the john cooper works destination with the red surrounds and then the brakes as well is larger and you can see it also says john cooper works very cool okay now here the fender again john cooper works with the chili red surrounds bottom here all four means this one is actually all wheel drive which is nice okay now let's head towards the back just to show you the back now the back is also very very elegant 
Now this one, you can see the lights. So this is not the Union Jack one, which we now know, which is very famous now, because that one is the later edition, I think 2019 or 2020 version. So yeah, 2018 is like this, but back in the day, it's really pretty cool because if you look at it, right, you can see it's like a multi-layer light. You can see there's one, two, and three. So yeah, these kind of things, right, you have to go up close and personal to really see the details. Yeah, because if you see it like this, it looks normal, like a circular, right? Yeah, you need to go towards it and see. Then you can see, that's very cool. You got a John Cooper Works destination here as well. And at the back, if you notice, this one doesn't say countryman. He says crossover because this one is from Japan. So Japan, it says crossover. Yeah, so imagine you buy this car, people will be surprised. Oh, why is it so different? Why is it crossover instead of countryman? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Then the bottom here, you got this rear diffuser. Then you got dual exhaust tips as well. This one sounds very, very good. Yeah, I'll show you later. So yep, this one, the tips is also finished in black. Yep, to give you a little bit more sportiness. Nice. Now uh, this one, the boot, right? To open the boot, you just put your feet here, fake your feet and see what happens Ta-da! it opens up so basically the sensor underneath to open it up so yeah this one reveals a huge amount of space see it's a mini but then it's so spacious another cool thing is because you see here like so spacious right inside the rear seats is also very spacious so yeah very cool and then this one if you open it up right you can extra compartment underneath so you lift it up you see there are actually a two deck so you can pull off thing underneath you can pull off thing on top as well because this one doesn't have a spare tire so yeah it's very cool very spacious the seats you can also fold down so you have to give it a little more little bit more room it's super super practical so yep okay now let's close it back down you can press this as well or you can flick a fit to close it but then yep okay now let's check out the interior okay to unlock the car you can either press the button right there or you can use the key itself which is nice finish in this circular shape as well just like the door mirrors and a lot of the interior parts are also in circular in shape so yeah let's unlock the car okay let's check out the interior itself okay open it up Okay, let's check it out. It looks extremely premium. Yep, just look at the quality. It's very high in quality. Everything here you see is very unique and bespoke to Mini itself. Only Mini has this sort of design, which is very nice. So first, let's talk about the seat itself. So you can see there's a John Cooper Works destination right there. Okay, and then this one, this seat is specifically for the John Cooper Works only. So it's very, very sporty seats. So firstly, you see this area, the headrest. Oh, it's finished in this very nice Alcantara. And then on the side, it's leather so basically it's a hybrid it's a mixture of alcantara and leather so here alcantara as well you got this box style stitching which is nice okay now let's sit inside and check out the interior okay okay just before i close the door just to show you the door it's also very high quality you can see this chrome finishing around it is piano black and then this one is all finished in alcantara now very rarely you see cars right at this price point have alcantara on the door card itself so for this to have it is very nice even the, all this as well you can see it's finished in this polished yep plastic nice the bottom here is illuminated as well okay oh, i forgot to tell you look at the door seal itself you can see you got this checkered flag it says john cooper works very very cool okay now let's close the door okay before i start the car i just want to show you this you can see the start stop is actually pulsating you see it becomes red slowly it fades away then it comes back on telling you that it's real ready to start the car so it's like a heartbeat okay so what happens is when you press on the brake you can see it becomes a bright red and then now you start the car just listen to that it sounds heavenly yep now one thing right it's nice to have button but if you have it in toggle style right like this right it feels much more better because it's nicer to touch it's nicer to, to push up and down as well it has a different feeling so let's say if you press it up See that it comes on the light. They use yep. This one auto start stop. You press, it comes on. Very nice. And then on the side you got this ring right here. So yeah, I like how they design this. It's very nice. Everything is in toggle style. And this one is pretty cool because it shows you the mode you have. So you got three different modes. So firstly, you have green. So this one is the most fuel efficient one. And then if you go up, you go to mid. So this one's balanced between fuel efficiency and performance. And then if you press up again sport now this one you can immediately hear the exhaust valve open much louder you can see it's like racetrack the light also turned red just now very very cool yep everything is finished in this very nice polished aluminium very very nice okay then here's where you can all your ac controls and then one very cool thing about this infotainment right okay i'm going to show you right now so let's see if i have to adjust this right check out what happens it actually goes it actually turns the, everything to the color so you can see right here's blue here's red so here's cold here's hot and you twist this right you can see the white thing it tells you how cold you want see 
this is the coolest and then you can go to very hot yeah very very nice and then let's say if i change this as well right the fan speed uh, just check it out if i change the fan speed nah, this is you can see as well look how it moves very very cool and then you want to change the lighting right by default you also can change so on top here again everything is toggle style which i absolutely love so this one right you just push this and you can see it actually changes Ta -da, you want blue you want dark blue you've got a lot of colors to choose from yeah very cool okay and then now let's talk about the screen itself now this screen is very very high in quality initially people don't like because it's very small but then now in this one it's actually more than enough so let's say i go to this you can see yeah this one's in japan because it imported from japan itself so you go back yeah it's very fast very crisp you see how responsive it is see i press all this right yeah okay you can even use this one right here this toggle right here to to move around and it's nice because you can see it actually changes the color for each time you go so you see blue then you kill this is my mini go to maps you go to maps radio communication notifications yep okay i want to show you something very cool which is my mini so if you click on it right okay and then you go to this mini country timer now this is pretty cool because what happens right you press on it right the car actually detects that we are going off-road when one is detects you're going off-road right it starts the timer itself so basically it shows you how long that you've been off-road now if you've been off-roading long enough right it actually give you more stars more points and then after that they call you a speed a huge champ if i'm not mistaken yeah but for now you're only a speed cruiser which is very cool these small small tiny details and it's like a game you know right everything is very fun yep very cool now this is the gear shifter itself so this one is a eight speed automatic shift so this one you can shift manually also if you want it's nice because you can see how tall is it <laughs> it's so tall all the way up it's nice because you can put your arm here and then you can just put it like this and shift which is nice it also feels very premium to the touch yep and then the bottom you got two cup holders and if you play close attention right you can see inside you got this hatch style design as well now this one is nice because this is like an anti-slip material so same for inside here as well you can see Ta -da! which is nice even the bottom layer as well now this one is nice because it's key it's a floating this one you can't go forward or backward just that you can put stuff underneath you can put this one is actually fixed yep and then you can see even i like how they design the air vent as well you can see this chrome surround and then it's not like the normal circular one this one's in this shape yeah, it's very very different to any other cars but this one also see the door handles right it's so circular and then you open up you just hold like this and push it up yeah very very nice okay now let's talk about the design of the instrumental cluster itself now, this one is also very unique to the mini only so on the right side you can see so that shows you your fuel so your fuel and then here now this one normally on the right side right what happens is it shows you let's say if you're going up very high in speed right here becomes red in color but this one no it shows you the checkered flag yep john composed destination on the bottom here is the ref counter and then the bottom here you got a head-up display so this one's the plexiglass style head-up display which is okay for me because i'm not too tall if you're any taller you go up oh you can't see really so yeah this one but this one is cool when you turn it on you turn it on it folds up yeah very cool like transformer style okay now i'll show you the steering wheel itself it's very very premium you see you got this red color contrast stitching yeah and then see look at this look at the shape of it feels very sporty as well just look at the john cooper works destination and it's floating just check it out it's actually floating yeah very nice here you got all the control so this one is to control your cruise control right side is your infotainment and media so your voice commands and call yeah very very nice okay now let's check out the back seat open it up you imagine that it'd be very small right because you got a lot of space at the back a lot of space at the front and then here we'd be compromised right but no if i was to sit inside right look at it look at the amount of legroom i have at the back see all the ways you have illumination lighting right there so yeah all these are actually illuminated so at night right when on this light you can change from there right so if layer is red right you change red this area here will be red here will be red yeah at night it's going to be pretty cool and then you see here look at the van itself so this one is really nicely designed as well a lot of cars they just black plastic and they just put stick two vents there this one you can see yep there's this chrome polished area yeah it's very very nice and then this one as well if i put it down right see this one normally people straight away put two cup holders right this one they put the less so it's clean and flat only if you want to use it you press this tada it opens it up for you to put your cups very cool very convenient okay I promise you guys to let you guys hear how this car sounds okay so let's put it up to sport mode okay the valves are currently open now just take a listen to how it sounds 
it has a very very deep tone to it which is very nice And that's about it guys for my quick walk around review around the Mini Countryman JCW. I just think this car is a good overall package because like I said, it's one of the best crossovers ever made in my opinion because firstly, it's very premium, the interior, exterior is very elegant and then it's, at the same time, it handles very well because it's very small and it's very low but then it still offers the amount of leg room and also the luggage capacity like a normal crossover does. So yeah, it's overall a very very good package. So yeah, I think that's about it. So please remember to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I think that's it. I shall catch you guys next time. Bye.